Well, this was uh, Helen Gandy, uh, who collected antiques all of her life. Uh, when her family closed the business, she began filling this warehouse up with them. And uh, I opened occasionally and sold things, but a whole lot of, uh, in fact, we still run across it, the items that were not for sale. It was just all part of her collection. And uh, she amassed a, just an amazing amount of antiques and collectibles and glass and pottery, all that kind of stuff. It was designed that way? Yeah. It's designed like all the part. There's a few things in there. The top will come off, the sides will come off, it'll all fold down. It would have fit on your covered wagon and you could take it across the country. And it's cleaned off yet. Yeah. That's a beauty. Probably 1910, 1920. Hamilton pump organ. Actually, pumps to play it. These are old um, oxen yokes. Mm -hmm. Oxen yokes? An awful lot of those here, yes. Ox teams, horse teams, see all kinds of those yokes. She was a tool collector. Yes, lots of tools. A lot of tool boxes. We've got a few more of those scattered around. And the toolboxes anymore, more often than not, end up going to someone's home and being used as a coffee table. So. Often. I love the uh, painting. I guess those are uh, morning glories. What's this? Mr. Ed. <laughs> the talking horse. Some of them are not particularly old, however, there are some back into the early 20th century. Real early child's walker. Straps are written. The child would sit there, got a little tray they do it on, and they can walk around. That's all Fostoria American. Most of it made in Wheeling. The cellar's set, uh, 1920s, 30s. Uh, still has, has the decal work, which I love on the top of the table. A little wear to it, and it's great patina. Still has the uh, flower sifter on the top of it. You can actually sift your flour, store it and sift it there. And it's got the two side pieces to it. You don't see a whole lot of them if it's complete. This is what we'll be looking to have the entire place looking like by the time we open. Make sure everything's accessible, readily seen, looks good. Uh, that's uh, one of the things that's the fun part of doing this for us. There's a lot of hard work, but the fun part's doing the decorating and designing with it. That's Connie's specialty. My dad and my brother and I found their kind of lumber together. I ended up with this. She had the other Clendon lumber up at, that burned down up at Clendon. She never threw anything away. <laughs> uh, she, I'd say we've collected some 30 years, maybe longer. I don't know. When you get to be 90, the years don't mean much. Oh, she was raised in pure poverty. She was a good woman. Any way you want to slice it, she was a good woman. I asked her for a day, she come up out of the water. <laughs> yes, for a date after she was baptized? Yeah. How old were you? Just 19. And 
This was right here up at the Elk River? Yeah. Here in Clendenin? Clendenin, yeah. That's where I've been raised most of my life.